Garage Sale Mystery, The Art of Murder was released in 2017. It's directed by Christopher Tabori and honestly, out of all of the ones that I've seen, I think this is maybe the fifth of the sixth that I've seen, this one's my least favourite and there are two reasons for that. The first is that the actual specifics of the narrative just weren't that interesting, the subplots were quite boring, none of it I felt was very gripping or compelling or very mysterious either. And the other reason is that I worked out who the killer was, basically the first time we saw them. The first time we saw them, I had my suspicions. The second time they said something and my brain just went, they did it. And obviously it wasn't revealed until the end. So I was engaged enough to keep watching to find out if I was right. But I just felt like it was too obvious. And this is the first time and hopefully the only time where I've been able to work it out pretty much immediately. So I don't necessarily dislike the film. I wouldn't say I disliked it. I love Laurie Loughlin, so I'm always going to enjoy these films to some extent. But so far, it's definitely the weakest. A body turns up in an attic where there are potentially quite a few valuables in there. And obviously, to start off with, it doesn't look like a murder. It looks like she just fell over and hit her head. And unfortunately, it's one of those things that couldn't be helped. But in true Jennifer style, she thinks that that's not the case. And quite quickly, she comes to the conclusion that it must have something to do with the antiques that are there. Somebody must have known about them. But who? Who could possibly have known? And I'll say no more than that. I don't want to spoil it, even though, as I said, I thought it was pretty obvious. In fact, all of there are several other mysterious things that happen. Well, I say mysterious. There are several other things that happen. And I felt like all of them, the culprits were just so obvious. There was no real suspense. There was no mystery. Everything was just right there and far too easy to work out. Uh, and as I said, this is the first time I've had this with a garage sale mystery. And I just hope it's the last time. So I didn't really buy into the suspense or the mystery. It was all a little bit too easy. With the subplots, they're, they're not bad as such, but they are really boring. Danny is doing this like vibration cookery class. And then she has to host a dinner party. And yeah, it was fine. I didn't care for it. I didn't think it was interesting. But again, it wasn't bad. And we also have Jason, Is he's preparing for a big birthday. And again, that part of it, absolutely fine. Not bad, but certainly not interesting. So as I said, I wouldn't say I disliked the film. But had this been the first garage sale mystery I watched, I might not have been as enthusiastic to watch anymore. Thankfully, it is unusual, so far at least for me to not really care for one. And honestly, I'm a little bit disappointed, but I'm really looking forward to watching more because I love Laurie Loughlin. I love the character of Jennifer. And generally, these films are really great. If this is the first one you've seen and you didn't like it, I'd say try some more because with my experience to date, they're usually much better. And hopefully... That's the case going forward. But for now, The Art of Murder was far too obvious and not very mysterious or suspenseful. It wasn't that dark or dangerous and the subplots were fine, but nothing enough to be fascinated about. It's an okay film, but compared to the others that I've seen, it really isn't anywhere near as good.